Hello, and welcome to the Professor Slots podcast show. This is episode one. My job is to explain. Remember to visit professorslots.com slash subscribe. Again, that's professorslots.com slash subscribe to get my free report revealing the top seven online resources for improving your gambling performance, including the one I've used as a top tier slot machine gambler. My name is John Friedel, a.k.a. Professor Slots. That's what I call myself. I'm an adjunct professor at two different universities, um, teaching decision analysis and basic engineering concepts, uh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, during the day, I'm, I work full-time as an aerospace engineer. And um, my story is that about 10 years ago, I spent some time at a casino uh, in graduate school, and I thought that was kind of interesting. And some things happened. I'll, I'll talk about them in later episodes. Some things happened uh, where I won a uh, bunch of jackpots, uh, over each one over $1,200, a taxable jackpot, and all in a very short amount of time, and uh, I'll, I'll save this, the, the actual story for later. But um, So I took a break while I launched my career as an aerospace engineer and uh, moved around a bit in the country uh, and then settled uh, where I am now in Ohio. And um, yeah, so I I uh, work full time, and now on the side, I've, I've started to do this because I had a recent casino experience, which I will talk about in another minute or so, just to uh, give you a bit of that history. But I uh, thought I have the skills, the presentation ability, the technical skills, um, a little bit of uh, you know software, hardware microphones, that sort of thing, uh, due to some past interests in audio, uh, to put together a podcast. And, um, you know, it's not really a barrier with, with someone um, with my uh, technical background, uh, by which I should say I do have a lot of college degrees, um, I have to fess up here, eight of them, uh, mostly in physics and engineering, um, three associates, one of them in mathematics, two bachelor's degree, physics and engineering, off to graduate school, master's degree in applied physics, then a engineering doctorate. Yes, it's Dr. John Friedel. Um, don't call me Dr. Friedel or anything like that. Just call me John. Um, uh, it's like one person in the world who calls me doctor, and I'm trying to get them to quit. So, uh, and then off to, uh, you know, uh, an engineering management degree, uh, for, for those of you who are keeping count. Um, and it's all been wonderful. I started a couple more degrees, but I'm unlikely to finish them. I'm sort of on a 10-year plan for those. I'd hope to get the double digits, but that's just me. So I, this first part, I am trying to be a little bit personal, and um, don't don't worry. I won't mention too much of that uh, in the future. Uh, there's some interesting stories, uh, but only uh, those that are related to slot machine gambling and casino visits and all that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, just to wrap it up here, uh, yeah, so um, I'm a slot machine gambling enthusiast. Uh, I uh, spent some time doing that uh, about 10 years ago uh, and then sort of launched my career as an aerospace engineer so I didn't have too much time. And then I came back to it and things had changed and I had some successes 10 years ago and some successes very recently. And I thought, gee, this is interesting stuff. And it seems like I know, you know, a few things I can figure out how the casino operates and I see the patterns and, and, um, I, I I'm very good with machines. I, I don't mean that I take them apart necessarily, but I, I know how they ebb and flow and, and, uh, function. And I sort of see, you know, ways to use them in, in ways that maybe hadn't been thought of. It's like, I imagine it's like playing a, a guitar or a musical instrument, um, you know, there's people who are just make the darn thing just stand up and dance. Uh, I can do that with slot machines. Okay, so that's brief, briefly me. I, I think you might have gotten a few facts and a few ideas about um, how I express myself, uh, and that's all good. Um, wanted to briefly do that in this first episode. I don't expect to do too much of that again. But um, hello, I'm I'm John. Nice to meet you. Okay, so on today's episode, um, I wanted to introduce you to not no, John Friedel, but Professor Slots, because you're here to talk to and listen to uh, Professor Slots. So let's talk about how I became what I call Professor Slots. Um, so 
a couple of years ago, um, I returned to casinos. Uh, they put up a new one near where I lived, uh, and not not too far from where I lived, maybe twenty minutes away. And I went, and uh, I took some extra overtime pay back when I was getting a little bit of overtime pay, and I would spend maybe. Well, I'd take $500 and I'd leave when I had $250, honestly. Uh, I played some of the machines that I'd played 10 years before uh, because I was familiar with them. I wasn't really trying to do too much. I was just enjoying myself, uh, entertaining myself. And uh, so I would spend $500 and I'd leave when I got down to 250 and that was that. I was mostly playing um, the one I liked, uh, a five-times play uh, machine, uh, $1 bet. Uh, is that right? Yes, $1 bet with a, a um, three-credit max. And so I was playing that, and I would play once a month, perhaps. Started in March, uh, you know, went a month without going, and then went back, and it was just, you know, taking $500 and, and getting down to half that and leaving. Well, after about six months of that, um, I don't, I'm not even sure I got a player's card. I might have gotten a player's card. I, I got a few points. Um, all became very important later. Um, and, and then I, I, I sat down, and I, that one day I brought in $800. And before I got to $400, I won a jackpot, a taxable jackpot, which is, in case you don't know, is $1,200 or more. Uh, that's a taxable jackpot where taxes are automatically withdrawn uh, in the state of Ohio. They automatically withdraw federal, or excuse me, state and city if there is a city uh, that the casino is located in with local taxes and federal is optional. So uh, I won $3,250 in a single jackpot, a single bet. And I was upset because I realized I had just spent six months um, and spending $250 per visit, maybe six visits, so call it $1,500, uh, and I just recouped it. I recouped that $1,500 that I had lost over six months, and I had an extra $1,500, $1,700 extra. After taxes, about $1,500 extra for the year. For all that work, for all those trips, and I was upset because I'm like, okay, so you know, don't take this very precisely. It's like an extra paycheck, or an extra week's worth of pay, however you want to put it. And I was, and I was frustrated because I wanted to do better than that, and I thought I could do better than that. So I decided that um, at the time I was trying to be less analytical and more. Oh, so you're getting a little personal again. Uh, trying to be less analytical and a little more passionate um, because you didn't get a lot of that in graduate, graduate school. So I decided to be upset and um, uh, passionate and I uh, really had to kind of work at it. Uh, and so I said, dang it, let's just do something here. And so I looked around and I thought, look at that. That's a high limit slot room. I've never been in that before. I think I'm going to go in there. And I walked through the place. I looked around. I looked at each machine. I found some that seemed kind of interesting, some others that seemed like I should steer away. Didn't really understand what I was looking for, but definitely had some feelings to go by, some initial feelings that I developed further later. And I picked one. I sat down at a Wheel of Fortune machine, $5 bet, three credits. So each bet was $15. So one dollar, a five dollar denomination, three maximum credits, fifteen dollar bets, and I proceeded to put the whole three thousand two hundred. Well, actually, I think at that point I had like thirty four hundred. No, I had yeah, I put in most of that. There was an upper limit how much you can put into the machine at any one time, uh, and I put in three thousand dollars. Then I started betting, and it wasn't too long before I won another taxable jackpot, and then another one, and then another one, and it was a busy night, uh, Friday night. And lots of people all around me winning as well. In fact, I met a guy uh, named Bubba, and he was there with Justin. And hey, Bubba, hey, Justin. Uh, and they would win jackpots too, or at least Bubba would. He, he, he was definitely a high roller. I'm not sure if that's appropriate for slots players, but that's what I'll call him. And so we got into a contest. He would say, number three. And I would say, number four. And he would say, Number four, 
number five. And I would say number five. And so we, we started having a contest across the room from one another, shouting out when we got another one. Now, he got to 10. He got the 10 taxable jackpots. I only got to seven. So, Bubba, you won. But then you always did. So, um, uh, uh, yeah, he... He, he played it hard. Um, later on, I got better, and better things happened. But certainly for the first night in a, in a high-limit slot room. Um, so I walked out with around $7,000. I could look up the exact amount. Records are very important. And uh, I thought to myself, okay, I got something. I got something here. So I proceeded in the next nine months with... There's a lot of stories in there. I wrote them all down uh, uh, for a book. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but uh, for, for the next nine months, I won more and more taxable jackpots. Uh, that's jackpots worth $1,200 or more. I particularly had a hard time with the one that was $27,000. Um, uh, but I got more later than that. So, so yeah, so I won 90 of them uh, at 90 taxable jackpots. And that's nine zero in nine months. Uh, I went uh, beginning in the middle of November uh, until the end of August, and that was uh, two years ago. And it took me a year to write the book and get things set up for here. In any case, um, yeah, at the end of that nine months, um, I started going to two casinos. I had figured out a bunch of things, all of which I'm sharing with you but it, does take time to write these articles and, and etc. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm looking to share everything that I've learned uh, as best I can uh, about how I did all that. And at the end of the nine months, August thirty first of that year, I did the obligatory Mercedes Benz E thrifty E three fifty coupe. Uh, didn't take the car. Ninety nine percent of the people who win a car at a casino don't take the car. Uh, I took the cash. Uh, the car was worth, I researched it beforehand. You should do that just in case, uh, researched it beforehand and it was worth $65,000 new, but it would been rolled off the lot. So it was worth $35,000 depreciation, just rolling it off the lot. You know, you gotta watch that. And they were offering $40,000 in cash. And because I'd done the research, I knew to take the cash. So they gave me $40,000. Now, that was not a taxable jackpot. That was a miscellaneous 1099 um, uh, form, uh, and we, I'll, I'll talk about that sometime in the future, but what that difference is. Um, but So they gave me $40,000, and they wouldn't give me all cash. Darn it. I was getting a guard to walk me out. Why not? Um, I collect those little bands, by the way, the $10,000 bands that hold $100, $100 bills. Um, I have five of them. Uh, but at that night, if they had given me, they gave me $20,000 in cash and a $20,000 cashier's check because they didn't want to give me $40,000 worth of cash. And so I would have seven of those bands that I like to collect, but I don't. I only have five. Um, in any case, uh, that's what I like to collect. That's, that's a joy for me. So, uh, yeah, uh, 90 taxable jackpots, nine months, Mercedes Benz, E350 Coupe, took the cash, $40,000. Uh, and the, that's when I realized that before that, I thought I could write a book. I was taking notes about the stories and the people I'd met and et cetera and et cetera and how I was winning and, and all the patterns that I was seeing. And then when I won the car, I thought, you know what? I could write a book because how can you write a book about slots if you didn't win a car? So, uh, so I decided that with everything that was going on and some of the new stuff at this new casino, renovated casino, one was a new casino built from the ground up. The other one was completely renovated. I mean, they moved it and moved the uh, racetrack, the uh, horse track, uh, a distance. So, you know, completely renovated. And it had um, an operating system, the newer operating system. This was not an old casino where it was uh, without the modern softwares and other things, which I'll go into on other episodes. Uh, but yeah, so a lot had ch has changed in casinos lately. And my job is to explain those changes and how to, you know, to discuss the rapid updates in gaming technology. Uh, there's operating systems. You know, more and more people are going to casinos. More and more casinos are, sh are popping up everywhere. And with a flood of people going, uh, paperwork is so hard that they've automated things uh, with various software packages so that the 
people can the working there can get it right and handle the crowds uh, that like to visit. So I figure some of that some of those crowds might like to know how to do all this stuff, and hopefully this podcast will reach out to them and I'll be able to help them. Uh, in all seriousness, I am trying to help. Uh, I don't know yet uh, how many people would be interested in this. I wonder about who that I might see at a casino would be online with a smartphone or uh, uh, have a iTunes, Apple account, or listen to podcasts, or be on Twitter. Uh, so I hope for success, and success is to have you go to professorslots.com slash subscribe. That is all I am asking. Uh, if this works, I will start um, having other things to offer, but only if you suggest it. So I will, in, in a year, six months, less, more, I will, when I've got more of an audience, uh, because I'm just starting, uh, I will ask you what you want. Do you want an online course? Do you want a webinar? Do you want a book? Um, I wrote the book. Uh, so, you know, it's available, but, um, you know, what specifically would you would help you the most. So I'm learning and I've got a lot to say and I'll keep on saying that, but I also need to listen. So I will do that. So I getting back to this, um, I have made a gambling profit, uh, that first year that although the first year was only, uh, from middle of November to the end of that year, uh, that was 50 taxable jackpots, uh, in, in six weeks. Um, I jumped to top tier, uh, did not know what that was. Uh, went all the way up to, uh, um, you know, got the got the casino. Uh, excuse me, got the uh, the cruise ship. Uh, got the trip to the casino in Las Vegas. All of these things. So, um, <clears throat> but I didn't. So when I became a top tier. Uh, players club individual I, I didn't know I didn't know anything about that uh, Dustin who I mentioned earlier you know came over and chatted one time and he's like uh, so I see you got the entry level card there you might want to go over to the booth and have them upgrade that oh yeah there's an upgrade I see um, yeah yeah you might <laughs> and he was very kind to me <laughs> so I, I have articles now about um, how to go about doing this and, and um, you can take a look at that And you can find those articles uh, on my website, professorslots.com. I try to uh, write those once or twice, once every week or so. And then every week I have another series on uh, gambling uh, in each state, working through all the states and U.S. territories and, of course, the federal district of, uh, district of Columbia. So um, other things that I have for you uh, is I took a bunch of quotes out of my book uh, and put them up on Twitter. Uh, every day, uh, several times a day. Uh, feel free to take a look at those. It's the best advice I have. Uh, some of them are like terminology. Um, you know what a candle is, right? Um, that's the light on top of a slot machine indicating that service is needed, either because of a uh, uh, fault or because you want a jackpot. Um, and that is just some of the terminology. There's many terms, and I've written what those written down what those are. Things like bankroll, the money you take to a casino, even though technically you could withdraw from an ATM, uh, and that's still a bankroll. So it's the stake or the money that you have to bet. Um, and for goodness sakes, please, uh, um, you know, do not bet more than you can afford. Uh, that's rule number one. So uh, on Twitter, I have these posters and winning slot tips of the day, uh, and there's many of them. Uh, I also have for you, uh, and that's completely free, of course, uh, and completely free again is my, my, my free report where I um, have researched and found the top seven online resources for improving your gambling performance, including the one I've used. I've talked about the top of the show, and I'll talk about it at the end of the show. Um, and that's at professorslots.com slash subscribe. So Professor Slots is just one word, uh, professorslots.com slash subscribe. Okay, so um, uh, I thought you might be interested in some pictures. So I know this is a podcast, and I, I can't show you the um, pictures on the podcast, but I can um, describe them, and they are up on the uh, – I'll have some show notes for this, and that will be up on uh, professorslots.com slash e – one. 
Yes, uh, the, and those will be up on the uh, up on the show notes on professorslots dot com slash episode one, and that would just be the num- the number one episode number one. No spaces, no dashes, anything like that. Uh, so on that uh, show page, uh, show notes, I will show a couple of uh, jackpots that I won, me standing there uh, for in one of them. Uh, and you'll see behind me the bonus spin on a Wheel of Fortune, where the maximum jackpot, it's a, it's a uh, $5 denomination, three credit machine that I was describing earlier. Uh, so each bet was $15. I bet $15. I did not win anything on the wheels, uh, the 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 reels and but I did win on a bonus. So the last reel came up spin, and that meant that I got a bonus round. And the bonus round was a wheel that is shown in the picture, and it spun, and it landed on five thousand. So this was a trip that I took to a casino. Um, I spent and I used the things I know about winning at casinos, which I'll explain in exhaustive detail. But it take me more time than this podcast has available. Uh, and I won five thousand dollars. So that's what the picture shows. So um, I went to the casino with five hundred dollars, and one of the first things that happened was I, I won five thousand dollars, which is a, a taxable jackpot. And then once. <clears throat> the attendant came and the machine locked up, of course, the usual thing. They came, took my driver's license, uh, filled out the form, and they came, left, and they came back uh, with uh, $5,000. And yeah, unfortunately, no band. Uh, and, of course, it was not $5,000. It was what was left after um, uh, city, mandatory city and um, uh, state taxes were removed, so slightly less than that. And then they left me, and just as they were walking away, they, they say the things that they, that they always say. Uh, you know, good luck, we'll be back the next time you win. And I pressed the button. And I think it might have been like the fourth time I pushed the button. They had not left the room. Uh, and the next one came up, which was uh, same machine. Uh, uh, yes, same machine. Double, double, red seven. Does that sound exciting or what? Uh, this was, again, a three-credit, uh, $5 denomination machine, $15 bet. And what do you know? I've got $6,400, $6,400 jackpot. That happened. I Again, uh, they came back, took my driver's license, filled out the forms. They went away. They came back with cash minus t- uh, city and state taxes and handed that to me. And at that point, I had a little bit of the $500 left, and I put uh, a little bit in for another five minutes of play, maybe spent 100 bucks, maybe $120. Uh, and, I, and I was like, eh, I'm done. So I left. And I was there for 45 minutes. I was in the casino from out of my car, opening the door to the casino, to leaving the casino, shutting the door behind me and walking over to my car, 45 minutes. And about 20 to 25 minutes was spent filling out paperwork and waiting for them to come back with, with the cash. So that was about 20 minutes, maybe a little bit less. Uh, about 20 minutes uh, that I spent walking from the front door to the high limit area, sitting down at buying the machine I wanted to play, that I was ready to play, that I thought would be the one winner that I wanted, uh, and then walked out. So call it 15 minutes, 15 minutes of actual play time, and I won after taxes just over $10,000. So that was that, and I have a couple of pictures here. I don't mean to go on about it. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad. I want you to enjoy the experience. I want you to enjoy the experience yourself. So I will talk about how I did all this um, uh, in exhaustive detail in upcoming episodes on, and, and on articles I've already written on my website and more to come. There's things you need to know. Uh, this player club uh, card, you know, free cruises, free trips, you know, that's worth something. And then, you know, you just don't want to, like, give it away. Just don't want to not take what is part of the profit of going to a casino and betting, even if it's a free dinner. 
Um, you know, if you if you play a penny machine, please don't. Um, <laughs> you want to, uh, uh, you know, making a three dollar bet on a penny machine is spending a lot more money than you would if you spent seventy five cents because on a quarter machine with three credits. Um, so be careful about some of the some of these things. I've, I talk about them on my on my website. So um, you know, this is my introductory. Um, oh, I should mention one more thing, which is the downloadable book. What is it called? It is called Learning to Win. How to Make a Profit at Slot Machine Gambling. It is 237 pages. This is not a pamphlet. This regales my, you with my stories, um, exactly what I learned, how I learned it, um, the patterns that I saw, some of my finances, uh, you know, the, the way to keep records, um, just endless stuff. Uh, it was the first thing that I did and perhaps not the wisest thing for me to do. I'm very glad to have written it, but as I mentioned earlier, I need an audience to tell me what, what they need. And I'm not sure that it's an ebook, but I wanted to write down everything that I remembered, everything that I had learned um, uh, for myself, if nothing else. And maybe the book is what you will end up wanting. It is on my website. Not exactly easy to find, but if you go to the show notes, there will be a link to it. And um, I'm currently, uh, at this moment, offering it for you guessed it, $77.77. And it's only available on my website. Um, so I will I will talk about other things that I'm offering as free as I can possibly make them. But this is the one thing I am selling because I just don't want to give it away. Uh, and later on, I'll convert it into an online course or, or whatever else that you need from me. So uh, that PDF downloadable document, uh, Learning to Win, How to Make a Profit at Slot Machine Gambling by yours truly, John Friedel, PhD, uh, 237 pages, is available on my website if you care to have it, um, or you can just wait and read the articles. Um, I'm going into more and more detail as I, as I talk to people and find out what they need, and it's a little more focused. Um, but if you can't wait, the book is there for you. Okay, so that's the end of the episode. Uh, all I wanted to say in this first um, episode, uh, my call to action is, for, is to build an audience. Um, I want to see if this will work. So please uh, go to professorslots.com slash subscribe uh, and provide your email. And I will be very careful with it. No spam. Uh, and for that, you will get my free report revealing the top seven online resources for improving your gambling performance, excluding myself, including the one I've used as a top tier slot machine gambler. And that will be yours. Um, do remember that if you sign up and put your email in, you actually have to go to your email and confirm it because otherwise... I get robots and other things that aren't, aren't um, very nice. So I need to make sure a human is doing this. And that's why there's a link sent to you in your email that you have to check. And it could end up anywhere. you got to look around for it sometimes. Uh, and that will get you to the report, uh, the free report. So that's the end of another great episode of Professor Slot's podcast show. Have fun, be safe, and make good choices.